sabah fuaralarına doğru gidiyoruz. Nispeten peten peten nispeten kerpeten daha yumuşak bir hava var diyebilirim. Abi ne tarafı? Fuar tarafı. Tamam. Yani saate avlanmayın. Fuarda geç açılıyor. O yüzden yani. Ya Yoksa geç, kalktık çalıştık. Gece de saat geçlere kadar çalıştık. Kaça kadar çalıştık abi? Ayrıldığımızda 10 muydu neydi? Daha geçti. Ya. Evet şimdi kısa bir aradan sonra tekrar Bahsetmeden geçmeyelim. Flap yok. Açık geçiş. Tam bunu verdim. Geçişler açık. Turnikeyi tamamlayamamışlar. Eksik turnike yani. Olmamış. Gün ikinci gün. Trenden hatır sayılı bir kahvalık. Bu ara doğru indi ve bu ara doğru ilerliyor. ve Lora firmalarını dün gece çıkarmıştık. Şimdi de harita üzerinde yerleşimde işaretliyoruz. Lora'yı abi bir işaret koydun mu? Evet. Yani ne Birazdan verimli bir dalış yapacağız sonra. So that's right now Microblaze, Zinc Ultrascale Plus, and Zinc 7000. Meta Xilinx Tools is what I refer to as a bridge layer. So it, there are some things in the back end, like our boot gen tool for creating the boot.min, uh, XSCT for doing any interrogation from Roboto and generating the device tree. That's what Meta Xilinx Tools provides. It's just that kind of interface layer. And then Meta Pedal Linux is a distribution layer that If you're in a pedal and explode, it's irrelevant to you because it's already doing this anyway. But if you are in a pure Yonko flow and you want to generate the same basic configuration that the pedal and tool would, you can use this layer and it will basically configure the root file system of the kernel in the exact same way the pedal and itself would. So if you're a Yonko developer, you're very familiar with this figure because it's kind of the go-to figure for explaining Yonko. And the reason I show this is because I want to show you guys that we integrate into your flow, not change your flow. So everything we publish is on GitHub, like I mentioned. So our Linux kernel, Uboot, that actual, that magic device tree generator that I told you about, that's published out there. So everything we do is published in open source on our GitHub. And we work very closely with Chasing Mainline. So we upstream relentlessly and then we clone past from Linus's upstream tree. So the general delta between us and upstream is a few weeks to a month or so in as it goes. That meta xilinx layer plugs in as a BSP layer in the Octo flow. The meta xilinx tools, tools, I put it in the metadata layer, it's kind of a hybrid of some other things, but that's kind of the best fit. And then meta pedal layers. So all of this is in a normal Octo. We're not asking you to change what you're doing now. So like I mentioned, here's it's a very hard to read thing, but just, you want to come up and take a look? It looks like a Yocto project. We 
you've got the same kind of basic hierarchy. But one thing that's important to know is that in other versions of this slide that I've had is that it looks a lot like a Yocto project, but if you've been a historical pedaling user, like when it was still shell scripts and things like that, we've not changed it so much that it's unrecognizable to you. So you still you can still reuse a lot of your existing infrastructure. So as I mentioned, Petalinux sits on top of Yocto. It doesn't replace Yocto necessarily. Everything that you need is built from source and then packaged in one place. You don't have to go, go use this tool, go use that tool. Because it's just Yocto, we have a set of root file system configurations that we provide out of the box, but if you have a meta layer from a partner or, your, or even internally inside your company that you use for providing file system stuff, you can use that here as well. And then, like I mentioned, it's similar to your Yocto project. So you can easily navigate through it and find your BB append files and things like that. So I'm going to leave this slide up here just as a takeaway for those folks that are passing by, but we've had a few additional people stop by since I started speaking. Who's used Pedal Linux in the past, maybe in the past five or six years? Thank you, Forrest. And you guys were probably used, how, how long ago were you using Pedal Linux? Half a year. So you were experiencing what we're talking about here, where it was all based on Yocto. Um, who's used it longer ago than that? Maybe a couple of years ago, 2015, 2016. Who's using Yocto right now? And who has a mixed kind of audience where you have some people that maybe need to be driving the file system stuff, but aren't necessarily what you would consider safe for consumption of Yocto? If you guys are all Linux experts and you're using Yonko already, I hope you get the message that everything we do plugs into your flow right now. And I definitely encourage you to take a look at our device tree generator because while we have all of that Yonko stuff in there and it's really cool, like that device tree generator for devices like ours, I think is the real linchpin that makes our flow really painless. So. I will be around if you guys have any questions or anything. Hopefully you learned a little bit here. And I think Forrest is going to be speaking in about five minutes. So thank you very much. Yes. I will give it and drop it. Super, super. Ah, okay. Okay, I will try. Oh, oh. Terrible. Who is missing? First place in the picture. Come on, hands in the air. It's beautiful, Candice. Akıllı sayaç ürünleri, Smart Buildings products, uh, ZTA building is integrated their their own modules to for for their customers. Uh -huh. uh, so sorry, I am recording. No problem. Okay. Uh, I understand that Mediatek chipsets uh, more competitive in markets, isn't it? Competitive, I mean, uh, price, low price solutions, Mediatek solutions. It's, it's good, but uh, you know, it's a new, a new module. So uh -huh. now the price may be a little bit uh, higher, but uh, I think uh, in the future next. Uh, Rock virus stays strong. You farm 2K? You farm 2K? Yeah. 
Yeah, yes, yeah. we are from Turkey and uh, we are a uh, manufacturer okay. for uh, automobile collection, okay. hardware and software systems. Okay. And also we are a 2G network, we are using 2G networks okay. and we are in investigating and looking for some MBI solutions. Okay. This is Laura Uh-huh. Uh, all of them uh, Arduino base. Yeah. Uh, why did you prefer Arduino base? Uh, uh, because it's you know for IoT is microcontroller based, right? So Arduino is most popular. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's why we prefer share. Okay. Uh, only pin pin assignments is Arduino. Is Arduino similar or real Arduino base? Isn't it? Uh, it's a real Arduino. Also, this includes Atman microchip. Oh, sorry. Atman microchip also this includes. about Fraunhofer. Okay. Is this a university? Uh, no, it's actually not a university. It's more a research institute. Research institute? Yeah. yeah. Is it government side or private? Uh, it's, it's, uh, government? Yeah. Government. Yeah. Okay. Which country? Germany. Germany. 